Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 3 minus square root of 8. So let's provide a solution from here. So we have the square root of 3, subtract square root of 8. Now, we can express square root of 8. This is the same thing as 3 subtract square root of 8 which is 4 multiplied by 2 now we have square root of 4 times 2 this is in the form of square root of a multiplied by b which we can express as square root of a multiplied by square root of b applying this property then we have square root of 3 subtract square root of 4 times square root of 2 and this implies that here we have the square root of 3 minus square root of 4 this is 2 then square root of 2 now the next step from here now we have that square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2 we find that 1 is common here so we can factor out 1 so that we have 1 into the parentheses this is 3 minus 2 square root of 2 now we can express 1 this is the same thing as 2 over 2 and this implies that here we have the square root of 2 over 2 multiplying by 3 minus 2 square root of 2 now let's multiply here so we have 2 multiplying by 3 minus 2 square root of 2 everything here divided by 2 so we have the square root of this is 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Then subtract 2 times 2 here. We have 2 times 2, square root of 2. Everything here, divided by 2. Now this implies that here, we have the square root of 6. Subtract 2 times 2, this is 4, square root of 2. Everything here, divided by 2. We can express 6, this is the same thing as 4, plus 2. So therefore we have the square root of 4 plus 2. Here we have 4 plus 2 minus 4 square root of 2. Everything here divided by 2. Now, the next step from here, we can express... 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2, then plus 2 minus 4, square root of 2, everything here divided by 2. Now, if we have the square root of a raised to the power of 2, this is the same thing as a. Okay, So this implies that we can express a, we can express 2, this is the same thing as the square root of 2 raised to the power of 2. So let's substitute 2 with the square root of 2 to the power of 2. So we have here the square root of 2 to the power of 2 plus square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 4 square root of 2. Everything here divided by 2. Now, the next step is that 2 to the power of 2 plus square root of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 square root of 2. This is in the form of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, which we can express as the square root of a minus b raised to the power of 2. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have the square root of 
this is the same thing as 2 minus square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 everything here divided by 2 now we have that the square root of 2 minus square root of 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 this is in the form of square root of a over b which you can express as square root of a divided by square root of b now let's apply this property now applying this property then this means that we have the square root of this is 2 minus square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 then divided by square root of 2 now we can eliminate this square root sign here so that now in the numerator we have 2 minus square root of 2 divided by square root of 2. Now let's rationalize the denominator here by multiplying both the denominator by square root of 2 and the numerator here by square root of 2. Now we have that the square root of a multiplying by square root of a this is the same thing as a. So in the numerator here, we have the square root of 2 into the parentheses. This is 2 minus square root of 2 divided by 2. Now, this is the same thing as 2 multiplying by square root of 2 subtract square root of 2 multiplying by square root of 2 then this is divided by 2 now we have that the square root of 2 times square root of 2 this is the same thing as square root of a times square root of a which is equal to a so here this implies we have 2 square root of 2 minus 2 everything here divided by 2 so 2 is common here we can factor out 2 so that into the parentheses we have the square root of 2 minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so let's simplify here 2 and 2 simplifies so that now we have here square root of 2 minus 1 so this implies that the solution here is square root of 2 minus 1. So this is the solution to this math problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.